I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the American plum. American plum, Prunus americana, is a member of the Rosaceae family and one of 30 Prunus species found in the United States. It is the most broadly distributed wild plum in North America. It's also known as American wild plum, wild plum, red plum, and goose plum. It is a small tree to large deciduous shrub that grows between 15 to 30 feet tall and up to 12 inches in diameter, and it grows its tallest in the southern part of its range. Trees typically have a single trunk that are often that's often crooked with a broad reaching crown. It is a moderately fast growing tree and short lived. It is not very tolerant of shade and will decline with canopy closure, so it's uncommon in a late successional forest. American plum has very attractive spring flowers and edible fruit that are an important wildlife food. American plum is a widely distributed tree from southern Canada south to Florida, with scattered populations as far west as New Mexico and Montana. It is mostly a woodland species, but can also be found in shrublands, pastures, riparian zones, and the edges of swampy habitats, as well as disturbed areas such as roadsides. It commonly forms thickets that can be almost impenetrable where there is enough light available. It grows best in nutrient-rich, relatively deep, well-drained, moist soils. It is an attractive tree or shrub in the landscape and used for screening, natural barriers, or erosion control, but its thorny growth and root suckering habits should be considered when planting. The leaves are deciduous, alternately arranged on the twig, and simple in form. The leaves are oval to elliptical in shape and about three to four inches long. They have finely serrated margins and the leaf tip is sharply pointed. During the growing season, they are green above and slightly paler beneath. Fall color ranges from pale yellow to red. The branches often have numerous spines and thorns. American plum is monoecious, which means a tree has both male and female flowers. The showy flowers are white and occasionally tinged with pink, and they're very fragrant. They have five petals, and they're about typically one inch across, and usually in small clusters. The flowers bloom early as the leaves are emerging or even before the leaves have emerged. The flowers are insect pollinated, and with honeybees being one of the primary pollinators. The fruit is a round, fleshy, edible droop, which is a one-seeded, fleshy fruit. The plum is typically about one inch across, and it's usually yellowish to reddish purple. And the plum usually has a glaucous bloom, which means it's covered with a light, whitish, waxy substance. The seed inside the fleshy part of the fruit is like a smooth, compressed stone. They are sour to tart, sweet in taste. The fruits may be solitary or in clusters and the fruit ripens in mid to late summer, and the seeds are dispersed by mammals, gravity, and birds, as evidenced by seedlings popping up along fence rows. Trees produce good crops every other year, and American plum also spreads from root sprouts and from root crown sprouts. The bark of American plum is initially reddish gray, smooth with many horizontal lenticels. As the tree ages, the bark becomes rough with irregular ridges and exfoliating curling strips. American plum provides food and cover for wildlife. The fruit is eaten by a variety of mammals and birds, including coyote, black bear, fox, grouse, blue jays, brown thrashers, and grackles. The trees provide browse for white-tailed deer and rabbits, and the flowers provide nectar and pollen for butterflies and bees. Due to its thicket-forming habit, American plum provides nesting cover for birds and small mammals as well. American plum is recommended for its drought resistance and is widely planted in shelter belts in the western plains. They are also useful to help control soil erosion. The trees are an attractive addition to landscape planning, but the thorny growth and root suckering characteristics should be considered. The fruit is widely used for jams, jellies, fruit leather, and they're an important tree for honeybees. Currently, as of 2021, there is not a national champion or a Kentucky state champion listed for American plum. Now for a few fun facts about American plum. American plum was extensively used by Native Americans, and researchers speculate that they were cultivating these trees near their villages long before Europeans arrived. Native Americans used the fruit fresh, they cooked it, and they dried it. They also used it for medicines and the roots to make a red dye. It is found in about 100 counties in Kentucky, according to the USDA Plants Data Base. 
The scientific genus name Prunus is from the Greek prinos, which means plum or cherry, and the species name Americana. Americana means from America. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, a local park or neighborhood, and see this flowering American plum.